First pegboard is up. It cost me a lot because I wanted to go ahead and put some little pieces of wood behind right there. Giving me less damage to the walls if I ever decided to take it off. But for right now, there's no really light in here, but I think you can see it where I have all the pegs and stuff. So that's the first one. I'm thinking I can probably use these little hooks for this little lamp. So when I'm sewing on the serger, I have a little bit more light behind it. And then over here, um, I have this little light. So far, that's number one out of three that I have to put up today. Okay, first pegboard went up. Um, it's right in front of my two uh, machines with the little light, these little hooks here, I thought it would be a good idea to have this with the little leggies, have extra lighting when I'm doing machine work. Um, and then a whole bunch of other little pegs there. I have tons more. Where is it at? Hold on. And tons more for more pegs here. And there, I have one peg board that's gonna go right there. That's gonna be the three uh, by one over here is going to be the two by one and those I am going to stick to the wall I'm only going to put four of the stickies instead of the all six of them so there's that but this one is done complete I feel better now that I can go ahead and start organizing and hanging my stuff instead of having it all over the place but there you are. Oh, I did bring that one in there. Um, so I can go ahead and put my uh, projects that I'm working on. And I'll put something pink on it. But so far, so good. See you in a bit. Second one up. And that's the one by two. And that's going to be right above this table here. So there goes that one. Next is the, I believe, three by three. Third one is up, and I realized that I put them on the wrong side, but it doesn't matter because wherever they're at, they're going to help me go vertical instead of being down here with all the stuff. I can hang everything right there next to the sewing machine, one of the sewing machines and hang up all the stuff wherever I need in there. Um, so, so far all three are done. And now to find things to hang on them. Um, there they are. Um, I wish I could twitch you guys the other way. So next is organizing whatever needs to be hung up. All right, more things to bring into the craft shed. Uh, it's a whole bag filled with things that I will need to organize over the course of probably the rest of the week. Look at that. Threads and bobbins and attachments, accessories, uh, feet for the, sh the machine and uh, the bobbin winder all these things I had in this cabinet here excuse the mess it's dirty um, but now a little bit more empty uh, so far the only machine that I have in here is my embroidery machine and I think that I I'm gonna keep that one here um, only because uh, it's I feel more comfortable leaving this one here. Uh, that way I can work across this area here. And yes, there is a helper. Uh, I can just go ahead and lay out things and put the embroidery hoops there and everything. And just uh, be more comfortable here. I don't know for now. Um, until I get like a full on idea of what I want to do over there. Uh, I still have this cabinet here to do. So let's find out what I have. I also have this extension I want to take over there just to connect my lights. And I do plan to go to Harbor Freight and get some 
uh, power strip. They're only, I think, 20 bucks. So either one or two I'm going to get. We'll see. All right. Bye.